Hey, it's 21 Times from PokedexCentral.com, and today I'm going to try Garchomp. Um, I, I don't know if this is going to work. I've had a couple of games where the stars have kind of aligned, and it's worked really, really well. And then I've had a couple of games where I just feel like it's completely unplayable. So, you know what? We're going to, you know, here's the list. Here's the list I'm using. Please feel free to... Uh, Comment. I have not played a whole lot of Garchomp. Um, I tried it out um, when the Fighting Garchomp came out with, you know, Deancey and um, and it just did. I just had didn't have a whole lot of luck with it. So I, I'm not anticipating I'm going to have a whole lot of luck with it in this new format. But you know, we're going to give it a shot and we'll see what happens here. So. Let's go hit the ladder and see what kind of fun we can have. All right, so my opponent has the advantage, so I'm in trouble as it is. I tried a previous version with uh, Dunce Bars and Bullpix. And that didn't work real well. But, yeah. All right. So I decided to throw in a couple Acrobike, see if I can't maybe um, speed up the deck a little bit. Um, I also have Shrine. Okay, well, at least he's weak to me. Tap a lily too. So the shrine will definitely come in handy. Hopefully I can get to it. Uh, turn one lily. Maybe he still has an ultra ball to play. Oh, interesting. Fairy. So it looks like it's Gardevark. So let me just take a second here to uh, brag a little bit because um, one of the first art one of the first articles I published on Pokédex Central, like way back in November, was Gardevoir Zoroark, and nobody was playing it, and I thought it was pretty good. And um, sure enough, like at the next tournament, Torg Reckliff shows up with Gardevoir Zoroark. So uh, I'm completely being facetious here. <laughs> I'm sure he did not get the idea from me. I'm sure that. The idea occurred to him all by himself. Um, and that's probably a huge mistake there, putting the uh, energy there, because all he's got to do now is just put down a DCE, and he easily okos me. But that's fine. All right, so what do I have here? So I'm definitely putting down another Garch, another Gibble. I'm not missing basics there. I have a uh, Garchomp in hand, but I'm missing a Garchomp. Looks like I'm missing an Acrobike. Uh, maybe a Nest Ball. I've got all my candy. Missing two Shrines. A copycat. And I threw away a Counter Energy. I have one in my hand and one in play, so I'm missing a Counter Energy. Okay, so Oh, maybe I have another record I can hit. Oh, great. So I can play Copycat 100%. Copycat is going to get me seven. So uh, just so you know, after uh, 28 instances, Copycat is averaging 5.46 cards per draw. So just a little bit more than um, Tate and Liza. That's not good. Oh, right. I don't have a... Um... Oh, man. Not good, not good, not good.
So I shouldn't have even put down that energy on the Gibble. That was not smart on my part. That was a cool play. Yeah, he's going to KO me here, and I have pretty much nothing. And I'm pretty much being... Oh, and he's going to copycat and get seven, so we'll... So I, when I've been keeping track of this, I've been, you know, counting it for my my opponent's play it as well. So he now has... So it's now up to five and a half. So it's getting a little bit more than Tate and Liza. But I don't know if it's significant enough. Is half a card more than Tate and Liza worth? Um, worth running copycat? You know, again, you know, we'll see. You know, if it rises above six, then... You know, the other thing with uh, copycat, too, is sometimes you know, if you have Warren Guru on the bench, you can copycat for one, and then you're still drawing two more with with instructs, so it's not the end of the world to copy that for one. Um, but it does have special energy. It's going off a little bit here. Do I have dark and fury? Yeah. Should I be fighting it? No. Yeah, there's just, there's no way I'm even going to be competitive. I'm calling everything Zoroark meta. At some point, I'm going to come back and um, at some point, I'm going to come back probably at the end of the month and you know see after maybe there's been a tournament or two and see what the meta, quote unquote, I'm doing air quotes here and I can't see it, but see what the meta really is. So. And my opponent's down to 33 cards and he's just going to not be here. I, I just have no way of winning this game. Huge mistake on my part to put the energy there. That was just pure stupidity. Mm, this is pretty much a lost cause here. We'll give it a shot. Real um, Lou Shrine uh, Section. But all he has to do is put on a little more energy and then he KOs me again. Um, Alright, so I'm not going to waste. My opponent's time here. This is very poorly played on my part, but um, you can see this is very typical of a lot of the Garchomp um, matches I've been playing. Um, not all of them, but a lot of them. So. But I think it's important to show that, you know, at least with this build that I'm using, and I'm not professing, I'm there are probably improvements that can be made to this list. Um, okay. My opponent again. Uh, and I would guess that opponents are really, really destroying me. When my opponent has the advantage, it's probably really destroying me so far this month. Because um, there are a couple decks I'm doing really well with. But there are enough, most decks I'm really just, and I'm just really trying some crazy stuff out. Um, all right. So we're going to have, but yeah, like I said, um, my, um, overall, I'm only winning pick 42% of my games, which is really, really low, but I, I don't really care that much. So you know, I'm trying things like, you know, Eridos and Big Tree Bill. You know, I'm really struggling now with Haunch Curl. I don't know what happened to that. Um, even my spread deck has come down. Um, really, uh, um, Traveling of Garbador um, is really the, the best deck that I've had. Just a little bit. But, you know, it's it's really, we're very, very limited and very early in the meta, so I'm not, I'm not that worried about it that much. You know, we'll, figure, we'll figure things out. 
All right, so Glaceon GX. Special energy. This is not a meta deck. All right, so we'll throw up the shrine. Make sure we can get a Gibble into play. Dancy Buzz. Uh, again, looks like I'm missing a guard shop again. Like I'm missing a weird candy. That's why I run for stadium. Counter energy. Have a DC in hand. Okay. Uh, yeah, let's put down that. And I know he's going to chip me, but I should be all right, hopefully. Uh, looks like I'm going to copycat again for seven. The average continues to go up. Look at now, 5.56. Yeah, looks like I'm stuck. Oh, good, but I'll be able to evolve into Garchomp if he K's out my Riolu. I will be able to at least hit him, um, although not particularly hard. And then he'll be able to GX me back and the game will be over. But you know, again, this is. I just miss end because that would have been, you know, there have been some turns where I had a bit stuck for cards and people played Cynthia. I'm like, oh man, that would have been an end before they would have refreshed my hand. Oh, great. He missed the DCE. So I'm still, I'm still in and I'm not out yet. I can. Your candy in the Garchomp. Um, put on the counter energy, and I'm stuck from there. So. <laughs> But at least next turn, I'll be able to uh, at least, you know, attack. But yeah, my opponent's played three supporters, and I've only played one. So. You can't get cards, you can't win the game. So I really like about that Swamper. Once you get a couple Swamper it up, <laughs> you have no no draw support issues. Even the double orange guru. Oh, my opponent conceded for some reason. Um, I have no idea why. Um, I I put games like that technically as a win, but. Gets me further up the ladder. All right, so I have the advantage this time. So maybe we'll get in a good match here. Maybe I can actually get the stars to align and I'll actually get, you know, a couple guard chomps going and This is good. Two gibbles to start and an apricorn maker, so I'll be able to put down um, a couple.
couple of basics. I'll just go grab two nest balls. And it's a slow starting deck in uh, Dusk Main and Cosmo. Yeah, play your metal decks now because in about a week, metal is going to be pretty much unplayable. Um, even with um, Frying Pan and um, Altar of the Sun, I mean, one field blower takes out both of those. So. Um, I'm going to get greedy. No, I'm going to be safe. Well, I could definitely do this and put my buzzball down on the bench, take advantage of his stadium. Yeah, I think I'm going to get greedy. Well, no, I'm going to be safe. Two nest balls. And I'm going to put down Lucario. I'm going to put down Riolu. Cartana, of course. Oh, that hurts. So should I count Cartana as a hammer? Because <laughs> it really functions as a hammer. It's not really... Has anybody ever attacked? I guess Cartana has that uh, uh, take a prize card. Yeah, one time I had just somebody, just um, somebody got me with that one time. They were able to play GX and win the game, walk off win. So, we could do this, we can do this, and man, all I got to do is flip one heads, one heads, and I got two, good deal. Um, yeah, two guard chops. All right, I'm going to take the chance that he will only be able to um, claw slash me next turn, which is a huge gamble. But it's a chance I'm going to take. Right, because that was 50 plus 20 for Deancey, minus 10 for Stack Attack. The beast there is that, yeah. 
So Yandel could do enough to Oko me with that beast energy. Oh, well, that's disappointing. I lost my Gurchomp. Oh, but he attached onto Naganadel, so I, he won't even be able to. Oh, so what he's hoping is uh, I'm going to KO this guy and then get into uh, Beast Mode, Beast Ring Zone. That's what he's hoping for, I'm sure. Oh, wonderful. Awesome. So I'm going to Cynthia first. There we go. Go grab a Gibble. Awesome. So I'll be able to get a third Garchomp going. So this is what I mean. Sometimes, you know, the stars align here, you know, when I get a face of slower deck. And, um... Now, the downside to this is that counter energy won't do me any good. Um, and I can't even put it on Buzz. I need real fighting energy for Buzz. But he's still two, Buzz is still two turns away. Okay, so he's KOing me here. Um, so I won't even be able to attack this turn. So... Oh, so that's less than desirable. Um, awesome, I didn't even have to go fish it out. That's good. Counter energy is going to do me good here in a few minutes. Um, I may even serve up. How many cards does he have in hand? He only has five. I'm going to keep the counter energy. Just give him a little reel over there. Um, I could. No, I just want to attach. Here's what I really want to do. I really need to get a stadium into play. Good, I got the fighting, so I can put that down on Buzz. Um, I can pal pad the two Cindy's back in. That's good. And we can watch the damage stack up on Stack Attacker. That's fine, I got three more. The only thing I wish, I wish I had uh, a Gibble on the bench. Which is where, I mean, that Buzz Wall would be, would be a Gibble right now. Um, if 
by it wasn't really Buzzwall. So I don't know if Buzzwall is the right. Good. That's good. I think no, I need to get an energy. I need to get an energy in, uh, onto it. I need to do an attachment. That's the thing with this deck too, is you've got to attach every turn. Every turn you've got to attach an energy. So that's good. Good, got another stadium up. Get the DCE on Garch. See what we get with the Zacro. Um, so do I think he's going to knock off my shrine? Um, more than likely. And I'm going to play Cindy next turn, regardless. Um, so let's see if I can go get... So I don't have another Gibble, so i got to grab my Rescue Stretcher, which is exclusively in here, to go get me a Gibble. Unfortunately, he is still in Beast Ring range. So he'll be able to attach as many Beast Rings as he can find. The good thing, though, is that he's going to be two-shotting me from here on out. Okay, so he's going to pick up the Ganondorf, put the Beast Energy down on the other one, and hook on me. But this is good. This will activate my counter energies. But Garchomp's still a two-attachment attacker, so I'm in trouble. The good thing here, well, I can't play Copycat, though. I've got to play, um, this is where I really need uh, Fairy Lele or Psychic Lele. Definitely attacking. Blow his doors off, and then he will only. Um... He has to two shot me from here on out, though. So, and my counter energy will work next turn. Uh, I got a guard chomp down there, right? Yeah. So I'll play the lure ball. All I needed was one. So about an 87 and a half percent chance of that working. So that was good. And this will be attacker three, attacker two, and attacker one. So I can finish the game with Garchomps, whether or not I'll be able to um, use World Blades every turn or use World Blades every turn um, for full damage will remain to be seen. But um, he's only one-shotting me. So this has actually turned into a pretty good game. Um, you see the Shrine is really doing some work here. Shrine is really helping. He's brought him all the way down to a 140. Um, so even without Cynthia, so without one Cynthia, I'm doing 140, but then he's reducing. But So I have to play, um, I have to play Cynthia, which I know I still have three of them, right? So that's good. Yeah, or two. I still have two Cindy's. So that's good. Um, so he's going to copycat and he's going to get eight. Good for my opponent. Well played by him. And really raising the average up to 5.64. So. Um, like I said, the higher that average goes, the more, the less likely uh, Tate minuses. Oh, yeah, assembly, well played, well played, well played. Um, fortunately,
All right, so I'm going to play copycat. I don't know. If there's not much. I'm getting eight cards as well. The average of two Five point seven one. The average has really gone up here. This game has been good for uh, good for that. And I was sent the end hand. So I'm going to go grab. I still have Shrine in play. I'm going to grab my Fighting Energy right now. And I'm just going to quick dive in. Oh, he's going to retreat into Naganadal. Oh, that was stupid. Oh, that was stupid on my part. Yeah, that was a terrible play on my part. Um, so I am definitely demonstrating that I am not a good Pokemon player today. Um, yeah, that was very poor play on my part. However, Naganadel. Oh, wait, no, I'm good. I'm good, because even if he does return to Naganadel, I'm Oko and Naganadel next turn. I'm good. All right. I'm smarter than I think I am. <laughs> oh, Max Potion. So Max Potion is the anti-shrine card. Um, So I'm not doing enough damage, um, but I will be next turn. That's cool. The shrine's really kind of. I wish I had a uh, counter catcher. I really should have a counter catcher. So we'll send the, I'm not going to, I am not going to run out of cards quite yet. Great. Here's my energy retrieval. I've got a counter, I've got a counter energy. Um, we have got everything I need. We'll take a Cindy just for posterity. Um, yep. So actually, yeah, I actually managed to um, pull out a victory there. So we'll go with one more quick one here. Um, see if I can't score another victory. I mean, so you can see, you know, Garchomp is not, um, it's not without, um, without merit, but um, I don't think it's that, I don't think it's very good. Um, you know, the, sh the shrine put a lot of damage on the board there. If I had a fairy lele or a psychic lele, um, I don't remember what the unit energy is for, uh, for fighting, but that might be something to look into because I certainly had enough energy spread across, uh, or Tabu, or Coco, uh, Honchko would have, uh, I think my opponent had the advantage there. I'll have to go back and look. Um, I definitely want to go first. This is 100% a deck you want to go first with. Good. He's going to be giving me at least a card. I'll take it. I get a turn one shrine out if I want to. So it's it's kind of I'm kind of mixed on it. Like if I were running Luzamine, then I would definitely put the shrine out. I'm not though. I'm just running four shrines. I have no way to pull shrines back out of the discard. 
Okay, so got a nest ball. So this dummy is stuck up there, so I'm gonna put down a Riolu. So I'm missing a Garchomp. Missing a candy, right? Yeah. I'm missing some timer balls. And missing a DCE, which could be potentially painful. So I'm not going to put the Shrine out yet, and I will play Copycat for six. Oh, that's really great. Wow, that is really, really good. Um, I will not make the mistake of putting the Counter Energy on the Active Gibble again. I will put it on the Benched Gibble. Good, I got a copycat in hand too, so hopefully he'll have a nice big hand for me to uh, draw with next time. So he's putting the DCE on Delmize and Lily for three, so he's stuck. I am very, very fortunate. Okay, good, it's Scissor. Yeah, <laughs> play this deck while you can, because next Friday, uh, Scissor's not going to be a whole lot of fun for you. Um... So do I put the counter energy on that gimbal? Hmm. So I know he's not, well, he could potentially KO me. But Scissor's a two attachment attacker. So unless he's going to me, attack me with Anchor Shot, which I don't think he's going to, I think I'm going to take a chance here. I'm going to copycat again for seven. Copycat for both of us. Copycat has been fantastic. Good. I could put this gibble right here, which will potentially protect it. That might have been a mistake, but we will see. And I definitely want to drop Buzz. But I'm going to be able to potentially copycat again in the next turn. Woo! <laughs> this is good. This is good. I'm not used to this. I'm used to being behind and getting, you know, I'm used to having four prize cards, you know, on my, on my fifth turn of the game, you know. Bill's Maintenance. Uh, yeah. So, so he's got his scissor out now. Um, where do I put this DCE? I think I just copycat or. Eight cards. Wow. This is great. This is a really, really great run for Copycat. Beautiful. Fantastic. Um, yeah, we'll put it up here. Cario. Jeez, I'm going to need to do three attachments. Um, but I am co AO coing this scissor, so that's good. Um, yeah, oh, this is an easy one. Lucario for Lucario. That's an easy decision right there. And then Lucario for... Garchomp! So, 
So again, you could see there are some games where, you know, if my opponent, you know, stumbles a little bit out of the gate, lets me get set up. Um, I'm in good shape here. And I'm KOing the only Pokemon he had with any energy on it. So he's not attacking me next turn. Um, and I'll be able to attach that other counter energy and I'll be able to Royal Blades. So if I want to, I could also attach the counter energy to something else. Um, but I think I want to put it on there. I think I want to put it on that top guard chunk. Um, so I'm sure he's going to give up how. So just friendly advice. I want to get some better draw support. I mean, I could see if you were running Mad Cargo, I could actually see running How. But, um. Uh, aside from that, I just, I can't, I can't even imagine. Oh, and so the way of prison. Okay, not a bad, not a bad idea for the uh, scissor deck. Certainly, that would get him a ton. Oh wait, I did see he had a DC. This is definitely not meta. Yeah, so he's gonna really be able to power himself up there. That's really good for him. Um, so definitely we get that. Um, <laughs> yeah, I'm just going to play Cynthia. Um, it's pretty amazing, but don't have a whole lot to do here. I mean, there's nothing I really want. A uh, stadium, that's what I want, a stadium. And I will grab... I'll grab another stadium just in case on the flip side. All right, I'm in pretty good shape. Yeah, cross cut, but he won't be able to get to cross cut. So he'll just steal wing me for 80. And even with frying pan, with frying pan, I'm doing I'm doing 220 base. With frying pan, it reduces it down to 190. With steel wing down to 160. So that's good, but not great. Um, I'm committing the fighting energy onto this Garchomp. That's really good for me. Stadium's still in place. There's there's nothing else I really need at this point. Um, so I'm just gonna Cindy. I'm gonna hit him hard. But um, what I can actually do is I'll be able to um, probably quick dive to take him out. Now, so what I definitely want to do, I want to give myself the option of being able to put a fighting energy on Buzzwall. And he's going to get KO'd, so I definitely want to grab. Uh, 
I'll leave the rescue stretcher for now. I want to grab another gibble so I can get um, Gurchop going as soon as possible on the flip side. So, Royal Blades. Yep, I didn't quite KO him, but I'll get him on the backside. Um, so, yep. So I'll actually Royal Blade with this guy down onto one of these scissors. Right, because he's going to get KO'd on the flip side. Um, and then we'll put the fighting energy on Buzz. There we go there. Um, man, I'm not even going to play anything. I got everything I need. I don't need to play any draw supporters because I've got the candy. I'll be able to get Garchomp next time. No problem. Um, there's just no point. How many Cindy do I have? How many Cindy do I have? Okay. So I can go grab my pow pad and put two Cindy's back in the deck. And then I want to grab another Gibble. So I can get another Gurchomp going. But aside from that, um, I'm doing everything I need to do. So um, I'm going to quick dive down onto the scissor with the less amount of damage. Which one is that? So is this a trap? Is this one a trap to quick dive? Um, so no, I need to do... to that one, because they're both going to have enough damage coming around. So that is fine. This is fine. I've got him. And that dust mate is only if I have one prize left. So if he has one prize left, and even still, I'll be able to. Um, so, I'm, so if he gets his DCE here, then he'll be able to cross cut me because that does an additional hundred to evolution so I'm in really good shape here that's fine All right, so I'm going to go get Garchomp. Your candy. CE here. That'll give us the flexibility of being able to attack with either one next time. Um, and I mean, I'm just I'm in good shape. I'm not worried about anything here. He can KO me. He can do whatever he wants. I'm just going to let the shrine continue to rack up damage. Um, I only need to cut one of those scissors. And one of them's got to be in the active next turn. So if he tries to try to get get cute and stall, then um, I'll just you know attach onto a guard chomp. This attach onto one of these two guard chomps this turn. I 
That's fine. I got more. <laughs> Don't worry. I got more where that came from. So he's actually getting kind of low on cards, too. He's down to 12 cards. Oh, cool. So he's going to try to get down to one card. Um, so I think I'll just um, wear blades, maybe. I don't know. I got so many different options here that I really Shrine back up there. Um, oh, that's right. I just put that. Um, oops. I just put that gimbal down. I can't evolve it up, oh, and there's the victory. Yeah, yeah, he's really got no path to victory here. So I could even just, you know, two drop two. So hey, maybe this Garchomp, maybe there's something to it. You know, maybe it's not terrible. So. All right, so we'll look at the deck list real quick, and. Click on there. Oops. So there's the deck list. I don't know if it's the best deck list. Um, you could certainly let me know if, if I'm missing something here. Um, certainly maybe Choice Band, um, Counter Catchers, maybe a Guzma, um, you know, Lycan Rock GX, I've seen that I used too. There, there are a lot of different, a lot of different options here, but this is, you know, what I used, and it was actually, you know, somewhat successful this afternoon. So I don't want to, I'm not guaranteeing anything here. I don't feel real great about this deck, um, but you saw they had some success here. So thanks for watching. Uh, you know, as always, you know, check out PokedexCentral.com, and uh, thanks. Bye.